board members. My name is Mary Johnson. My organization is Parent Youth Heaven. I live, I'm a resident of Downey. My kids attend school in Downey. Um, so I, I was here, I first came because I had concerns about lack of parent engagement. I really did. Because most of the parent engagement I see, that I get, and I think it had been clarified to me why I was getting not only from PTA and not from other committees. Because I'm not a PTA mom, but I am an advocate in the community. And I work on behalf of all kids in Downey in the Southeast area. But so the night I come with concerns regarding emerging rescue plan, and I have questions because I couldn't find the answers when I was looking in the budget book. And one of the questions I have, and I know you can't answer it because in public comment you don't do that, is have you uh, did your draft already for the ESER uh, plan yet? And if so, can you post that draft online to the community so we can have transparency of how that money is being spent? The next question was, how have your district allocated the 20% of the $77 million that was allocated for the American resource uh, re, re, yeah, plan. And uh, I want to know how that was spent, the breakdown. When I looked in the budget book, I didn't see how they spend that money. That 20% is only spent directly to for the students. So I want to know how that was spent. And the next question was that I know that was interest earned on that $77 million. Now, I want to know how much interest did we earn and how we're going to use that interest money. And then the other question is that how we're going to use it, will it be used for the kids? But when you come back, I'm always to know, the public know, how you're going to use that interest money. Because it was generated to the open schools. I will hope it would help you in some kind of way to do your interest structure or whatever that needed to be fixed to move forward on those issues over there. Um, how do you plan to get feedback from the students? The students, we need to be asking students, what do you want in your schools? How are we going to do it for the parents? And I'm not just talking about PTA parents. I'm talking about all the parents' voices in Downey matters. It does really matter. So we need to know how you're getting the viewpoints of a diverse group of parents and not just one group of parents. Or, or rubber stampers, I call them rubber stampers. Sometimes people handpick people who say yes to everything. I'm not one of those, but I do know how to work collaborative with other people as well. Uh, and then I want to know what metric will you use to evaluate the impact of the investment made by the money? And how will you report that back out to the public, to the community? to let us know how effective the program was. Because we're supposed to be evaluating, and everything that we do is supposed to be evidence-driven, uh, data-based. So, I mean, we need to know that. Because I need to know that we see more parents involved. I've been down here for three years now, going on four. I haven't got anything about no other parent involvement but for PTA. It honestly, I like to know what the LCAP committee is doing. I like to know what every committee is doing. I like to put input. Uh, the LCAP committee, I want to know what they're doing. Because those are public funds. And we, like Downey has some of the greatest programs. I, I would have met that. But the problem is that we as parents don't know what those programs are. So the secret is only for the people who uh, I guess the kids might know on the campus, but for parents like myself who are very active, I had to call the school and ask about different college programs and, and different things because my my child was not brought there in the office to ask, uh, you know, are you going to college? And when the counselor made a, uh, a statement to me, I didn't give him a waiver because I thought he was going to go to a college state or junior college where you don't need to take the SAT or ACT. Who is he to say what my responsibility for my child or the journey my child takes? No one do that. So those are the things that I worry about for parents who are not in the loop, the parents who are too busy working. Uh, we need to get hard copy 
paperwork sent to our mail because everybody don't have electronic computer, everybody not savvy with the email. So it gotta be more than one way to reach us and not by parent uh, connect all the time. And you know, I went to the Title I, for the Title I, I ride around the city. I look for posters on the mar on the marquees about school site councils, about meetings that happen by like Eli. I see none. I take pictures. It's only be posted per the Green Act to the community. It's not there. So are they lacking who they want to be there asking questions? Or they just handpick who they want to ask questions? Because I'm a community member, I have kids, but I want to be active in my schools. Uh, in my community as a whole. Thank you.